My name is Kevin McReynolds, and this past fall, I was involved in my own incident when a university police officer threatened to shoot me at a routine traffic stop. As we try to move past this incident and others, I think it's important to learn from them. But as we continue this dialogue, I think it is necessary to hear the voices of other students and how they feel about the campus climate. I don't think race is valued too much. I think, um, well, I've been here three years and I, this is the first semester I've ever had a black professor and I've never even had a Hispanic professor. It's a hard question. Um, I would say yes. Um, overall, yes. Um, but do they value women and queer people on this campus? I don't know. Does you not do enough to protect minority students on this campus? That's a hard no. Um, I believe they don't, in my opinion, because, so I'm Native American, and this is originally Native American land, and you don't see anything that's Native American on this campus. We have one, like one, like advisor or mentor that I would call my mentor, and that's pretty much the only person you see on campus. I would say no. I, within the last year, there have been three anti-Semitic incidents on campus, and we never got reached out to. I was the president of a sorority. Um, I was incredibly easy to access. All of my information was on the website, and not once did any administrator ever reach out to me and be like, "How can we help? Um, you know, how can we help the Jewish sorority? How can we help the Jewish club? How do we make you feel better on campus?" They held a diversity meeting with the president and uh, people such as Dr. Lee, um, our musical professor on this campus, and I believe they tried to create a dialogue. But as for actions upon inclusion, not so much. This morning, I was walking to my class, my only class of the day, and I see a cop pass by me and then he turns all of a sudden into the parking lot, stops there, waits for me to walk by, and nothing happens. But the fact that I have to think that something's going to happen, the fact that I got to have my hands out and not have them in my pocket so he won't think that something's in there, that's not making me feel any safe. I don't think UNR has done a lot regarding racial issues. Um, so. And I don't know too much about any diversity programs on campus or anything, so I don't think they have really done much, I guess. There's not enough knowledge about the University of Nevada in Hawaii. There's not like a, someone who dedicated, like a recruiter that goes to Hawaii and speaks and stuff like that, whereas other universities I can name, you know, Creighton University, University of Oregon, Oregon State University they have dedicated Hawaii recruiters, whereas we don't. I think that just the awareness of our university is not as high as I would like it to be on our state. Start investigations to look into the problems because we can't just have our university leadership grab these problems and try to throw it under the rug. Everybody knows that they're here, everybody knows that it's present, and so we need the leadership to take charge and actually start looking into all the issues that we've had and actually going through and trying to find the person and punishing them.